Hi everyone! In this video, I'm going to discuss how to determine whether a function is continuous at a given x value. Hi everyone, my name is Christy and I bring you weekly math videos from a variety of math topics. And the topic today comes from a calculus class and it's a common question asked in a calculus class about whether a function is continuous at an x value. And in this case, the function happens to be a piecewise function. As you're watching this video, if you find it valuable, go ahead and give it a like or comment below. That allows other people just like you to find this video so that it can help them. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, make sure to click that subscribe button so that you are notified as I post weekly videos that can help you in mathematics. So let's get to the problem. Like I said, in this problem, we're going to determine whether f of x is continuous at x equals three, and we are given that f of x is this piecewise function. As I go through the justification of whether f of x is continuous at x equals three, I'm going to be using the definition of continuity. And the definition of continuity has three steps. And I will be going through those three steps as I discuss this. The definition of continuity's first step is to determine if f exists at the given x value. So whether f of c exists, and whatever x value is given in the problem, we call that c. So in our case, let's determine number one, if f of three exists. To determine f of three, I need to use the function where x would be equal to three, which is in this second equation because that's where x is either greater than or equal to three. So let's plug in three into the bottom equation. And I would get seven minus nine or negative two. And our first step, is correct, f of c exists. f of three does exist and it's equal to negative two. Moving on to step two. In step two, the limit as x approaches the c value, in our case three of f of x, needs to exist. And in order to determine whether this limit exists in a piecewise function where you have one piece of a function where x is less than three and one piece of a function where x is greater than or equal to three, we really need to think about this limit as approaching x from both the left and the right sides and make sure that those limits are equal. So first, let's find the limit as x approaches three from the left-hand side of f of x. In this case, we want to use the top function because that's when x is less than three. We would get 16 minus two times three squared, which is 16 minus 18 or negative two. Now let's find the limit as x approaches three from the right-hand side of f of x, which we are going to use the bottom function because that's where x is greater than or equal to three and thus approaching three from the right-hand side. 7 minus 3 times 3, we did that above when we were evaluating f of 3, and we get negative 2. And because the limit from the left-hand side and the right-hand sides are equal, therefore the limit as x approaches 3 of f of x is equal to negative 2. And now for the grand finale of the definition of continuity. For a function to be continuous at x equals c, step 3, is step one and two have to be equal to each other. So f of three, or sorry, f of c, I was already thinking about our problem, needs to equal the limit as x approaches c of f of x. And as long as that is true, f of x is continuous at x equals c. So doing step three for our problem, we would have f of three, which we got as negative two, is in fact equal to the limit as x approaches three of f of x. Therefore, we can conclude that f of x is continuous at x equals three. And so I'd like to show you what this means on a graph. So if I were to sketch a graph here, and let's see, in the first step we determined that f of three was negative two. What that means is that the x value of three, the value of the function is negative two. Therefore, there's a point there. Step two was the limits. 
The limit as x approaches 3 coming in from the left-hand side is going to approach negative 2. And I know that top function is a parabola. I don't know exactly what it looks like, but I don't know. Maybe it kind of comes in like that. But this is not exact. This is definitely a sketch. I want to make sure that that's clear. And then the limit as x approaches 3 from the right-hand side is also going to be negative 2. So as I approach in a linear fashion towards 3 from the right, I also approach negative 2. And as you can see, because both the left and the right sides approach negative 2 and the value of the function is also at negative 2, you can see in this visual that f of x is in fact continuous at x equals 3. All right, everyone, I hope you found this video helpful in determining whether a function is continuous at a given x value. If you did, once again, make sure to click that like button and subscribe and feel free to comment below. I love to see your questions and comments in each of my videos, so keep them coming. And I hope that you tune in next week for my weekly math videos. Have a great day, everyone, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.